Howdy. So, uh, not sure if you can hear the tin roof, but uh, it's raining out today. So, uh, try to take care of some in-store stuff, and uh, we got that trim to put up in my bedroom, uh, in my bedroom up at the cabin, and uh, I use a pros uh, product called uh, what, Mimwax Poly Shade, Stain and Polyurethane One Step. Um, we already have one coat down and everything. In, in between coats, you use some steel wool. Steel wool it down, take off the rough spots, and then you put your second coat down and you get your poly. And uh, so you get a nice shiny finish when you're all done. Um, so right now I am going through, and these are already done. Um, I'm just doing the pieces that are left. And then I will use a paintbrush, knock off any of the steel wool that's on there in a rag. I'm not particularly caring about if, if I have a like a hunk of dust or something in it. It's a cabin. It's not a you know, it's not a church. But um, I'll try to go through and uh, and make it as smooth and make it somewhat decent. So hopefully we can get this up and installed today. We'll see what the weather's like. You know, if it starts really downpouring, I don't know what we're gonna end up doing. Um, we have steel for the uh, trim on the guest cabin. But it's pouring out, or on and off pouring right now. It's actually not that bad. It seems to have let up for a second. We'll see if we get to that or not. I'm not going to go out in the pouring rain and put that trim up. Uh, but right now I'm just going to work on this. Put on a coat of poly, or the, the, the stain poly mix, and let it dry. We have, every, we, we have very little room that's heated, so we're working in front of the wood stove here. We have everything angled so we can get in the cabin and in the wood stove. Um, I have a couple longer the pieces here. So let me work on that and uh, I'll check in later. Can't come out here for a weekend without showing the view and how it changes. All the leaves gone. Like I said last week was the uh, peak week for leaf peak peeping. Though the, uh, the poplar is still holding on to a lot of their leaves over here. It's still green. Oak still nice and green. Oak is behind the uh, maple right here, so the tall tree is directly in the middle. That's still holding onto its leaves. Most of the maple are gone. Except for a little maple grove. At least the ones on the edge are still green. The ones that are all by themselves, I guess one real close here. That one changed over. We're going to be thinning out this grove uh, this next year, probably before the trees bloom up in the spring. And, uh, Picking which trees stay and go. Yeah, a lot of these. What happened out here was um, when they first bought the property, they mowed it. It was it had a bunch of maple saplings in it, and uh, they all came back up as multiple stocks for the most part. So we're gonna go ahead and pick out the singles, let them grow up, and maybe some of the bigger multiples. We'll see. But we're gonna thin it out a lot so that the trees get more light and they'll they'll grow bigger faster. Um, now this is future in two decades, maple syrup. <laughs> but uh, that'll be something we do in the spring. And then, uh, let me see if I can step back enough without falling off the porch. Then I'm going to go over here. Got the glider in. We stopped out the Amish last week. And uh, pick that up. It's absolutely beautiful. Nice place to sit and watch the... Uh, the view off the valley. And we just had about a half a dozen turkey at the bottom. Couldn't see them with the slens no matter what I did so. Um, and once we started making noise up here they went in the woods. But uh, they've been coming in out of that same spot all fall. So turkey season will open up soon and uh, we got to talk to next door neighbor about uh, sitting down there. See if we can't. I never, I never got a turkey yet, so it's on my to-do list. Oh, we're gonna go look for something we can't find, and then we're gonna go put a window in the uh, guest cabin door. So then, we'll, after we're done that, uh, stain should be set, and we will uh, get the window trim installed.
that one I have a, I'm gonna do another cut from up above. Problem is it gets in the way of where I actually need to be. So I did the first one blindfolded. I can get through with the uh, saws off from here so I got to open it. So we'll finish up with the saws off. And there we go. Stain the uh, trim around the little frame we built for the window because this uh, required more. The boards are only an inch thick, so the door's only an inch thick. So we built up a little frame and uh, stained it, put the window in. Now we have a little portal. Not too bad. We're we doing that. We got the boards back to my place so that we can uh, install the trim. We're gonna go do that now. And I, re I stained two of the boards I forgot to stain. And uh, what else did I do? I sharpened up a, a hatchet I've been meaning to sharpen while we're waiting for things to dry. Been just sitting out here for a while. I've been forgetting to bring my file out. So I finally remembered to bring it and uh, sharpened it up. So we're gonna head back now and we're gonna do the trim. Here's a before shot of the window and all the parts. You don't really think about it. You know, window trim seems like it's no big deal, but there's a lot of parts. You know, sill, from the top and the bottom, that goes between the two windows, uprights, over there, more over here. There's a lot of little pieces that go along in it. So, we're going to pre drill everything. And then uh, start hanging and banging. Um, the windows aren't exactly the same size. The one on the right is actually a half inch or a quarter inch bigger than the one on the left. Um, there's no two windows in this cabin that are the same, really. They were all seconds or salvage or whatever. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. It, it should come out okay when we're all done. But uh might not be exactly level. So, let's get going.
so we're uh, basically done. Uh, I'll have to come back and putty up all the nails, but uh, until then, it's done. Um, while I was up here, you know, best laid plans. We uh, stained everything pre, but the uh, before we got here, but the um, the horizontal trim pieces on this end over here in the middle and the far end over on the middle. We uh, didn't do one side, so we had to go back and get the stain and finish it up. So I had it. I did the face piece over here and uh, yeah, put the first coat on. I didn't go down to the bottom because I want to get a putty knife down there to keep the carpet pile from getting into it. But uh, it's not too shabby. Yeah, it's not the... Uh, it is what it is for work, so I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know, like I said the windows were a different size, so if you look you know, if I look closely I can see you know issues, but uh you know, I think it makes the room pop. Let me step back in this way. Yeah. Not too bad, I think it's better than the better than the no trim look. So yeah, I think uh and we're gonna do the other windows, but I'm not sure if I'll get to it this year or not. We'll see if we if we have time. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's really it for today. I got this. That I got an axe or the hatchet sharpened. I'm gonna go finish it up with a stone before I leave. I think, and then um, the window installed, and uh, the window installed in the other door, and then we have the trim installed here. And it's about time for me to head back to the city once I finish up that. Uh, that axe. I'm just gonna use a stone, take a five minutes, and make it uh, make it real sharp. I'll bring it back out to the cabin next time I come out. But uh, yeah, it's a good productive day. So I am planning on a midweek project, and hopefully I'll get a midweek video in too. Um, I'm gonna try to do a midweek video for the next you know, a little bit of time, and see if I can keep that as a regular thing. At least. Yeah, well, I have interesting projects. So there's two ideas I have in mind. Um, we'll see which one I end up doing. Um, well, that's all I'll leave it at. <laughs> A little suspenseful. Dum, 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 dum. But, uh, yeah, a good day. So I just want to say thanks for watching. I, I just noticed I'm almost at 600,000 uh, video views. Wow. It's awesome. For like 1,400 subscribers. Yeah, like I said, when I was when I hit 500, I thought it was a big deal. When I hit 1,000, you know, 1,400 almost. Um, you know, but this, based on the the way it grows, which is about three people per day, um, you know, by this year or next year this time, I should be around 2,500, give or take. Um, like I said, I'm I'm always amazed and and surprised. This was all, all created so that I could uh, keep track of this stuff for me, really. So I go back and look at old videos and see, you know, I don't know what's behind this wall in the right place. <laughs> um, or what was I thinking when I did it. But uh, I'm glad people enjoy it and hopefully get some value out of it. And even if it's the value to see a different way to do it. You know, because I'm not saying my way is the best way. I'm not in construction or electric. I'm a computer programmer. Um, so it's always, like I said, I'm always amazed when I look at the statistics and see them grow. Uh, we're going to get cleaned up and get out of here. So thank you again for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.